Shannon. And that's Tim. And this is Hornblower, our beloved Baba 40 that we spent the last seven years renovating and is now our home as we sail around the Caribbean. As we leave beautiful Allen's Key in the Rocky Guanas, we set out for Hybern Key, considered the gateway to the Exumas. Hybern Key is a private island, so unless you're staying at the marina there, which we weren't, or in one of the rental cottages, then you're limited as to what you're allowed access to on shore. Upon arrival, we see the anchorage is filled with yachts of all sizes. Super and mega yachts abound. Zeal, our closest neighbor, has a four-story slide deployed a go-fast tender, and a 25 by 25 foot floating mat, two hydrofoil boards, all the toys. After settling in, we touched base with Elroy, our buddy boat, and decided that a dinghy run into the marina and lunch was on the agenda. As we round the breakwater to the marina, a herd of six to eight foot sharks greeted us in the white sandy shallows. Were they begging or were they plotting? Not waiting to find out, we make a beeline for the dock. The marina grounds and surroundings were impeccably groomed, and we took advantage of them while we relaxed and waited for the restaurant to open. The restaurant was a tropical looking little building perched up on a coral outcropping overlooking the bay and several white sandy beaches. The food and presentation at this restaurant was second to none. Tim had the lobster and shrimp salad. I had the grilled mahi sandwich. Rob had the garbanzo bean cucumber wrapped salad and Cindy had the watermelon feta salad. There was a small, well-stocked marina store, so we stopped in for a few essentials, as many of the Exuma Islands don't have facilities. But we quickly discovered we would not be stocking up here. While we had gotten over the sticker shock of the grocery prices in the Bahamas, this was insane. I bought four items that normally would cost about $15 in the U.S., so I would expect to be about $30 in the Bahamas. My total was over $50, so I took my little four items and we headed back to the boat. We swap the groceries for snorkeling gear and head over to Oyster Bay. By far, this is the best place we've snorkeled so far. The reef was pristine and untouched. No signs of coral decay. The water was gin clear. Lots of critters to observe. So we spent several hours floating and diving down on the coral heads to observe this underwater world.
As the sun crossed the sky, it was time to wrap things up. But before we did, we collected several conch and Tim speared some fresh fish for dinner. As we prepared to go, we had an unexpected treat as this huge stingray swam by. Remember in episode 4 when we watched the guy at Goldie's cleaning the conch and were sure we had it down? Well, suffice it to say, we could use a little more practice. Tim was persistent though, and even though he made a huge mess, by the time he was done, we had a nice pile of conch meat and made a lovely conch pasta for dinner. As the sun set, we could see a squall on the horizon. Because of the importance of weather when living on a boat, we sat outside and enjoyed the view around us while keeping an eye on it. it turned out to be an incredible lightning storm, luckily between five to 10 miles away. And believe it or not, this was not the one that got us. Stay tuned for that story in a future episode. While watching the storm, we were greeted by a new yacht arriving and dropping anchor very close to us. This was the Iron Man, an Italian yacht that floated in, blasting Italian music to announce its arrival. We have a lot of time on our hands some nights, so we look up the various yachts anchored around us. This one happens to be 126 foot and has a crew of seven plus the captain. It's a private yacht, so can't be rented out. The Zeal that was previously mentioned is 155 foot. It comes with a crew of nine plus the captain and can be rented out for the meager price of $190,000 a week plus expenses. As night settles in, it's time to get some rest as we plan to set sail for Norman's Key in the morning. Be sure to tune into our next episode where we check out a sunken drug plane and discover delicious whelk snails. And if you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. We'd really appreciate it.